This is Ryan and well, from the Beach Lane Company of Ryan's Movie. And I'm here, we do reviews and stuff and, you know, lots. Now today, I'm here to present you a review of Lego Hero Factory Breakout XT4. As you can see, So you saw in that clip, I was particularly quiet. Well, young me was very quiet. That's because that was the first video I ever filmed. Like, period. Any video. Lego, gaming, just a video in general. It was the first one I ever filmed. And so I was quite nervous on camera. I was really, really nervous. So my voice was really quiet. So, this... XT4 figure has had a long, long history, and he's the, basically he's the guy who kickstarted my video making career. So really, Hero Factory is the reason this channel exists today, and why I like, I love to do videos. Just yeah, it's all because of Hero Factory, and the tribute. That's why I'm doing all these reviews. <laughs> Anyways, XT4, one of the classic Breakout Wave 2 villains. And he is no ordinary villain, he is a four-armed 
General Grievous ripoff. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. He's he does the forearms like Grievous, but he is much, much smaller, and he has his own unique way. He does not, you know, but he is he is droid. He is more of a droid than a hero, like like a normal hero robot, like the normal villains. He's more he's more like intelligent. He can think for him, or he can pro calculate and program a lot of uh, like algorithms. Is that what you call it? But whatever. He's one of the one of the one of the smart brain attack. I mean, not brain attack. One of the smart breakout villains. So first thing you'll notice is that he has four arms. But the other thing you'll notice is he has no normal torso. In fact, he uses the smallest torso ever. For Hero Factory, and this is the first time, first time, first figure to actually introduce this torso piece. That's why a lot of people call this torso piece the XT4 torso, because it was the first time this thing was introduced. The extra ball function at the back for his extra pair of arms was not new. It was first introduced with Waspix from Savage Planet. So XT4 kind of was kind of played a critical role in Hero Factory's history. As you can see, he's not. Super tall because he 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 his legs his knees here are folded or bent. It uses triple joints and it's designed to be like that. But however, you can always ignore that and just stretch it all the way up, to increase its height, and boom, this man is now so tall. <laughs> but you can see it's very he's very skeletal. He doesn't have a lot of um, bone structure going on, or he doesn't have a lot of armor covering. He because most most of the bones you see here are all in silver, not really in black. That's, I guess that's to contrast the color scheme. The legs down here, his ankles uses, uh, this is a number six armor piece in black. Uses two of them, that's covered nicely. And I'm surprised, surprisingly the, the bareness of him is actually fine. It's actually okay that they don't have a ton of armor on him. It makes him look even more droidish. His feet do use the Ben 10, uh, ben 10 feet, but they're in school bus yellow like the his other color scheme which is yellow and uh simple but effective now before we move on to his forearms let's look at his head his head is quite special in the way that it's like a single ball joint here but then the eyes are a separate piece it uses those red uh, those red light like uh, traffic light pieces or those headlight pieces used on like normal Lego mini uh, like Lego sets on buildings and vehicles and stuff. So it's quite interesting using this as his eye. But look at the printing on or the, the molding of his head. It's very very smooth. It's very unique and definitely a really cool one. And in terms of posability, because it's so flat, you can move his head all the way this side. You can move his head all the way this side. Posability is very great with the head here. It's just not the best if you're trying to make him look up. You're gonna have to move his neck joint instead of the actual head, but I think that's fine. That's great. As for the main body armor, it actually just uses a small number three yellow armor piece, which is connected with two hoses that are powering two of his weapons, which we will get to right now. So, as you can see, he is called XT4 for a reason, because he's shaped like an X, and he knows, I, apparently he can also be like a T, but he does have four arms. So, two of the arms have this arm, number three arm piece with a single blade here. So these are, I guess, for his like close range melee attacks. He can use these to like block or stab or just, you know, just a way to defend himself. And then he's got another one up here on his upper pair of arms. So he's got one on his lower one, and then one up here on his upper one. So you get two of those, and I think I, I'm glad LEGO didn't put both arms on the same level, because then it won't really like change him up a bit. So I guess doing it like this, it gives him diversity a lot. So his other two arms are quite different now. So this one here has a laser shooter, and it's powered by this hose to his main body. And you see the piece used here is one of the <laughs> fire hoses from the Lego City sets. So that's pretty creative. And it uses this red long antenna to mimic his laser. And then he's got two talents here. I guess it's just to, for an overall look of this laser gun. Cool gun though, not gonna lie. Though it doesn't shoot, it definitely is a cool laser. You can use this to like slice open vaults and stuff. And next also has a, a similar laser as well. So I guess these two are... <laughs> We're gonna be battling each other out with 
like this guy and next. I think they're gonna be battling each other out with <laughs> with lasers because it's pretty cool. As for the last arm, and it's just a razor saw shield. Same, similar to Breeze's, nothing new. We've seen this piece before. However, it is powered again. I don't. I guess this to, to power the shield. It's just nothing much. Just literally that. No, no, no arm. Just a simple shield, which is great because then he can use this to block projectile stuff. He can use this for melee as well because they're sharp ends. He can use this as a close combat weapon. So. All in all, XT4 is very complex, uh, like a very combat-ready villain, and uh, definitely he would be a good fight against Nex because Nex is the hero designed to fight XT4 for breakouts. However, these two were not in the TV show, so I guess we'll never see how their fight will play out. But I would assume because they both have lasers, they're going to be lasering each other out a lot. So well, we'll show you Nex in, the, in his own video in a bit. But for now, what do I think of XT4? Hmm, well, he is the first Hero Factory set I ever bought. Just saying, this guy is the first Hero Factory set I ever got my hands on. And uh, to have him for so long, never really had a... I had plenty of time to look at him, and I think he is one of the small, kind of small in my opinion, but a really successful villain, very cool villain. And uh, I actually don't really have a lot of complaints about him. I don't see anything wrong with him. I actually like the, I like how they kept him bare and didn't give him a lot of armor, so that's good. And uh, just for a droid villain, something that, that stands out differently from the other villains, I think it works great. And I think he's a cool villain overall, so I'd give him, I just can give him a perfect 10 out of 10. I really don't see any flaws in him. Yeah. I don't really ask, I don't want to ask more for this guy. This guy is great. Perfect small set, would recommend this villain, but if you are looking for a bunch of armor pieces for your mocks, don't go for XT4 because you'll barely get any, you just get a couple, not a lot. You get more bones than actual armor. So don't go for XT4 if you really want to collect a bunch of different armor pieces. So, but then again, his head is really cool. So I'd say his head would be really cool to make some like droids, like droid figures with this. That, 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 I think that would be cool out. So yeah, anyways, those are my thoughts on my very first Hero Factory set, XT4. What are your thoughts on XT4? Is he a great villain? Is he a villain that sucks? Or is he meh, is he okay? Let me, let me know what you think. You can like or dislike the, the video and subscribe to the channel for more. And uh, now we're going to do his rival hero next. So we'll see you that very soon.